What's going on Blazers? My name is John Gazzam and it is that special time again where I'm bringing you guys another Loot Crate unboxing. I actually just got back from the post office uh, to pick up the Loot Crate and it's actually a pretty decent size this month. I'm really excited about it. Just a reminder, the theme for this month was time. So I have an idea of what could be inside. I know there's going to be some Back to the Future and Doctor Who stuff, which as it so happens, I'm a huge fan of Back to the Future, not so much a Doctor Who, so I might not be as excited about the items inside as you are. But we're gonna have to wait and see, not wait super long. I actually should probably get to opening it right now. Of course, I've got my trusty knife here. So let's get started. I'm excited, as you can see, this is sealed. I'm not feigning, faking my reactions. Um, this is all legitimate. There we go. pretty much the coolest thing ever. Here's what it looks like. Um, you can already see some cool things in there. I am uh, gonna start with, just like last month, the thing that caught my eye first, the most obnoxious thing in the box. How could I not start with it? A Back to the Future Loot Crate exclusive Dr. Emmett Brown vinyl figure. That is pretty ripping. I am so excited about that. Let's see. This is already shaping up to be an exciting loot crate. I'm already, I'm enjoying it more than even last month. And last month was awesome. That is pretty sweet. I'll show you guys right there. This is, uh, got a little bit, it looks like a, a car battery. Um, it's got giant goggles and his trademark crazy hair behind him. That is so cool. And and adorable. I'm so excited about this. Kind of reminds me of the Simpsons figure from last month because now I have another cool little statue guy that I can mount on my desk and have to talk to when I'm lonely because of my lack of friends. I'm gonna put this back for now. Like I said, this is a Loot Crate exclusive. You could only have gotten this if you were a subscriber to Loot Crate, so that makes it even more enjoyable. Moving on to the next item in the box, um, the next thing that caught my eye because it was on top is this t-shirt pretty sweet bill and ted's excellent adventure i don't know if any of you guys have seen the movie it's also another movie about time travel i will admit that i haven't actually seen it um i know a lot of the popular like catchphrases and memes from it but i haven't seen the movie yet and i know it's considered like a classic amongst dorky people like myself so i'm gonna assume it's pretty awesome i am gonna try the shirt on though just because that's what you're supposed to do i feel like when someone sends you a shirt it actually fits pretty well, so that's really exciting. I was af I was afraid that I knew that there was going to be a shirt included in this one, and I was kind of afraid that it wasn't going to fit at all, and then I wouldn't get to wear it. But now I don't actually have to give it to my girlfriend. I can keep the shirt for myself. Coming up next, we have another. Or let's see here. Well, I'll I'll go with the Doctor Who thing because I feel like a lot of you Doctor Who fans want to see what it is. We have a Doctor Who Sonic Spork. I really don't know what to make out of a Sonic Spork. As a lot of you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of Doctor Who. This sounds pretty cool. We'll see we'll see what it entails it is literally silverware this is actually silverware they send you silverware that's awesome i now have a spork which is perfect for a college kid like myself because i didn't bring any silverware to school with me and now i have not only a fork but a spoon as well it is literally the perfect item one more just one more reason why loot crate is an amazing service and why you should subscribe Intent. Moving on to the next item, I um, we have the typical monthly button that they have. Oh, this is really cool. For the October button, they have a flux capacitor on there from Back to the Future. I don't know where to put this because I don't really want to put it on the shirt because I don't want to poke a hole in like my nice brand new t-shirt. I'm excited for all of these buttons to start stacking up because I you know, September, then October, and then the November one, whatever theme that's going to be. So that's pretty cool, as usual. Next we have, and I believe this is the last item, as far as I can tell. We have a Back to the Future 2 hoverboard replica. I'm not even going to wait to open it, because that sounds amazing. What? That's pretty cool. <laughs> huh. I know, I know Doc Brown doesn't ride a hoverboard in the movie, but I could, like, totally put my brand new... Uh, Doc Brown vinyl figure on here. They send the coolest stuff. They really do. Last but not least, I, this is the final object within the box, but I am going to show you guys what the box actually looks like because last month I kind of failed at doing that and it turned out that the box was really cool. It was a box that could turn inside out and it was the style of a book. So the box, um, now that I have it all uncovered, you can see we have uh, what I'm assuming is from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Right at the top it says Party on Dudes 
and we have Bill and Ted there in the front, and they are standing with a bunch of historical figures, figures from different time periods. Unlike last month's box, I don't believe this one is supposed to be turned inside out to, mo to like, look like anything, but what I'm honestly considering, I think it would be cool if I, like, I'll show you, put, like, the hoverboard, whenever I put that, right here, like, Oh, hoverboards on stage with them, and then we put little Doc Brown on top of the hoverboard in the box as well. I'm gonna set up a little bit of a display in there, um, and then of course I have my trusty spork um, that I can mire my display with, or I don't mire my display with the spork, I guess, but I could eat soup while with the spork while miring my display and wearing my brand new t-shirt. But yeah, guys, that was everything that came in this month's Loot Crate. Time, in my opinion, was not a disappointment whatsoever. I absolutely loved the Back to the Future stuff. That was probably my favorite thing. I gotta say, I did love the hoverboard and the spork is pretty practical to have, especially on a college campus. But the Doc Brown vinyl figure is I'm gonna say my favorite item out of everything. A friendly reminder that if at any point throughout this video you thought, man, if only I was a subscriber to Loot Crate as well so I could get all of this cool stuff, I wanna let you know that not only can you subscribe, you can use coupon code JOHNGASM at checkout and receive an extra 10% off your membership. Loot Crate memberships range anywhere between $11.95 and $13.95 depending on how many months you sign up for, but it's always worth it because every box that Loot Crate ships out has over $40 of nerdy goodness inside it. If you're interested in checking out the site, you can also go to lootcrate.com slash johngasm and get some info for yourself. And if you do subscribe, then you yourself can receive all kinds of cool and nerdy stuff. Loot Crate is an excellent service, and whether they were a sponsor or not, I would still be doing these unboxing videos because I think they're really cool, and I think that they are a service that deserves the advertising. I would never recommend a service to you guys that I wouldn't use myself, so please keep that in mind when considering getting a membership. I promise you won't be disappointed. As always, you guys, Guys, thank you so so much for watching make sure you hit that rate button with a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below with your thoughts maybe tell me what your favorite item in the box was and if you want to get even more wild with your comment maybe tell me if you could time travel to any time period what that one would be I personally would go back to anywhere between the 20s and 50s it would be a pretty good time I don't know if they had hair gel back then so I might not enjoy it as much as I think I would but yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. Don't forget to check out Loot Crate, and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for a Back to the Future Cinema Secrets. Thank you again for watching, and blaze for life.